Hi, I'm Hunter Lose. We are here at Corvallis High School for Winter Rail 2018, which is the 40th year of this event. So um, it's it works phenomenally well. Wow! And uh, and, and then um, I just got a frame by frame 16 millimeter machine for Rio Vista Junction, and it's just at my disposal for everything. That is really. SP10 release is still still plucking away. Yeah, we're still on schedule. <laughs> Yes, there's two spots. There's one big, basic two chairs. for that. Welcome everyone for number 40. We've gone through a lot through the years and uh, I appreciate your attendance, especially the ones that had to travel up I-5 on Thursday. <laughs> Three hour wait there at Dunsmuir for somebody that didn't know how to drive in the snow, I understand. So anyway, we got a lot to show you today. We got one change that you, uh, your program is not going to reflect on page two after the dinner break. We are going to go right into Dave Stanley's Oregon's uh, Lumbering Ghost. We'll do that right after the dinner break, and then we'll go into uh, the, uh, the Hall of Fame and the photo contest. Because our staff needs a little more time to produce or produce the, uh, the Hall of Fame show. The photo contest. So anyway, that said, that's the only major change. Um, there's a few typos in here. You guys will probably find it. Uh, it happened. And uh, also, I want to do a uh, talking to the mic. I don't want them to hear that part. We've also lost a lot of folks in the last few years, and you probably have been hearing them on the Facebook and social media. And at this point. 
I'd like to have a moment of silence for our fallen folks that have been contributors and supporters of the Winter Rail over the last many years. Uh, we've lost Renee Schwartz, John McCormick, Bob Ackerman, he used to do the videotapes back in the slide days, uh, Roxanne Canino, Jack Neville, a few months ago, and the recently lost Jeffrey Garrett. So at this point, a moment of silence for our lost heroes. Thank you. Somebody else watch this thing. But mine looks prettier. Well, let's get this show on the road because we want to stay on time, and I pride myself being on time. So, without further ado, the first show, the Apache, this is awesome. It's going to kick butt, and hopefully it'll be a book someday. Enjoy. So we're over here with Wayne Monger. I know Wayne. I've known Wayne now for about four years. Yep. And uh, so speaking of Winterrail and the event that we're at, <laughs> that's Mr. Winterrail right over there. Which number Winterrail is this for you? Um, have you been continuously going? Uh, have you missed any? Or has this been continuous since day one for you? Or? This is number 39 out of 40. Mm -hmm. uh, I went to the very first one, which was at the uh, Sacramento Inn at Sacramento. Dave Stanley set it up, had a couple of projectors. Um, and I actually went to what we consider Winter Rail Zero, which is uh, Dick Stevenson's slideshow, Southern California, San Bernardino, in spring of 1978. And it was so interesting, successful, being multi-projector, uh, sound, et cetera, that Dave Stanley decided to do, you kind of modify it, bring it up north, and start Winter Rail at Sacramento. Uh, the only Winter Rail I have missed was in 1991. I was on a geothermal well at uh, just outside of Vail, Oregon, Eastern Oregon. Uh, so I couldn't get home for Winter Rail. And then Mr. Neb's over here. Um, I was sitting in my geologist trailer up there on the well site, and the phone rings. And then it was in the evening, and it was Vic calling me from the theater. And the entire theater said, I could hear him in the background screaming, Hi, Wayne. <laughs> so, so that was the one winter rail I missed was in 91. Wow. <laughs> First episode, wow. this is Dave Stanley. And uh, he is actually the person who really got this whole event to the point that it is now. He's the person that started winter rail. Well, prior to winter rail, there was a, a show up here in Salem, Oregon called Slideathon that Rod Loader was putting on every year. And, uh, several of us would, were regular attendees, and uh, uh, with Rod kept saying, you ought to do something like this in California. And uh, down in L.A., Dick Stevenson had a similar show down there, uh, which drew a Southern California crowd, and everybody kept kind of telling me, you ought to go do something in the middle part of the state. So we started Winter Rail in 1978, Sacramento, California. And uh, I think we had uh, roughly 100 people there, like a homespun slideshow. And uh, 1979, we moved it to Stockton. And uh, the show grew every year after that. And we used to get a lot, a lot of people that wanted to present shows. And uh, the attendance grew. We uh, started the swap meet in 1979, and it grew. And uh, uh, it grew to the point where I enlisted the help of Ken Meeker and Vic Neves. Uh, Ken actually to help with the swap meet, and uh, Vic uh, was helping me with the projection of the slides. And, and uh, we kept advancing with the times. Uh, Vic more than me, I'm more of a dinosaur. And uh, uh, it has evolved to what it is today, and it's, uh, it's uh, quite a, uh, Quite a gathering, quite a celebration of uh, Railroadiana, and uh, uh, nice to see it's still going after 40 years. Now we are here with Mr. Winter Rail. We are here with Vic Neves, the producer, the person who is putting this on. So Vic, um, without further ado, why don't you tell us what got you into all of this? Oh my God, we don't have enough time. 
Well, yeah. well, we'll try to condense it just a little bit. Well, I mean, as far as the beginning of Windrail? Well, the beginning of tr your interest in oh, trains. Oh, my God. God, that's a long one. I didn't have any um, parental support. I had to kind of learn on my own. Uh, my parents thought I was wasting my time doing it until my mom went to Windrail, and she said, ooh, you really got something going on here. And it changed her, you know, uh, thinking on it. And then Winterrail, Dave's first event in 78, got I me, mean, oh, there's other people that do this, and they're crazy. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I uh, started uh, latching on to more trips, and it just kept going. Then I met Dave. Uh, after that, after meeting Dave, he gave me the editorship of CTC Board's uh, SB column for, this, for the same magazine, CTC Board. And, uh, gosh, I mean, just just kept growing after that. I started doing, I started the magazine Lark, an underground rail fan. It was kind of a, a cult thing and that lasted about a decade and, and then, uh, you know, you know, it kept going up and up and up and then I got handed the reins by Mr. Stanley with Winter Rail and I've been doing it ever since. Forty years has been an absolutely, truly amazing run. I've been lucky enough to have been present at all 40 of those Winter Rail presentations. I, I did some, not for me, I, I just got to enjoy them. So I did some quick calculations and I figured that uh, over those 40 years there's been 500 hours, probably 500 plus hours of quality uh, rail fan, railroad entertainment that you're, is unsurmountable, you're never going to find anywhere else. Uh, there's been wonderful, wonderful memories for, I'm sure, all those people who have attended uh, the many winter reels over the years. Um, there's just the, the wonderful uh, social interaction with friends that you just get to see once a year. Um, that's one of the things that I really look forward to personally is I know there's some people, I get to see them once a year, and that's Winter Rail. That's really important to me. Hopefully that is important to you as well. This has been such a unique experience, but we owe this to two gentlemen right here. Um, these guys, <laughs> without them, it never, it never would have happened. So, Dave Stanley and Vic Nevs. Get in just a second. There's, there's a, obviously it takes a, a crew of, of roadies and everything to put on this, to put on these things. The presenters work their butts off to put these shows together. Um, everybody who's ever presented the show know how knows how much time and energy and devotion that goes into putting these things together. But it takes one person who has to bring it all together. And without Dave and Vic being at the helm for 40 years, we wouldn't be here tonight. So, Winter Rail has always been a group effort, and uh, I had, uh, we started this in 1978 in Sacramento, California. I was uh, 25 years old. <laughs> <laughs> Where did the time he was. Yeah. I had a splitting headache that day. It was horrible. I was so worried that the whole thing was going to fail. I guess it didn't. But, uh, I do want to say this. Uh, Vic and, and his crew have kept this going. I, I gave it up in 93. I'd had enough. I 
trying to get my book projects done, which I finally, but this is a, this is a full-time job for many months, planning and organizing this thing. And one other gentleman I want to give a lot of credit to, uh, because without him, that show you just saw wouldn't have been anything like it was. And that's Evan Workman. But uh, I do want to thank Vic, the late Ken Meeker, God we miss him. But uh, these guys kept it going, they really did. And I'm mushing out here, so here's some money. <laughs> Thanks, Dave, that's awesome. Thanks for being up here. Oh, one more thing. so we can see the screen and uh, the Hall of Famer for this year uh, is a person that uh, yeah, I've been known him for a few years. Um, I first met him on the, I think it was Sierra Railroad, I think. Um, you know, he was kind of a, a cool dude. He, uh, he, uh, he actually lived in my house for a while. That wasn't, that was kind of fun. Uh, we've done many of trips together, uh, Jesus, and the most famous one was in 1978, Bayfats Fomathon. You're probably going to guess who he is by now, but uh, yeah, in many ways, uh, he's the, uh, the brother I never had, and uh, I want to introduce him to the, the Hall of Fame this year. It's been long overdue. Wayne Monger. Steam engine. 
and that's my truck, and that's Wayne telling me, get off the highway. Yeah. That's on a Sierra trip. Glenn Eikenberg took this picture, and there's Wayne up on the gun, and I'm, you know, posing stupidly again. It's on Sierra Railroad. This is down in Fresno. Uh, John Ford took this picture, and me and Wayne are going froth jock over an S6. <laughs> uh, we were the last rail device on the San Ramon branch. This bridge today is in the uh, CSRM Museum. And we were running on <clears throat> rail with no spikes. There's no spikes on the ties. And about an hour later, the rail was gone. That was my M9 XWP. So we motor car early in the morning until it was cloudy, and then we took off. We were about two hours up from that. They, back then, they called those moon legs. So we didn't tell anybody. Anyway, <laughs> and of course, you remember this. Uh, uh, Blair took this picture of us after we polished the nose on the, on the pumpkin there. So. And this is down in uh, uh, Colton. Colton, yeah, no. we went Dick Stevenson's Foamathon slider show. I'm out there with, uh, man, I'm not going to call it a lens, but it, it, all males have one. <laughs> and uh, we'll go with that. We're in the high school, so I got to be. And then this is uh, one of our, uh, hers, yeah, you can read the sign. Bayfats, Altamont sign crew, one of our results. So uh, we have a few signs along the line between there and Tracy. And of course, that's Wayne and Linda. Uh, and that's how snow grows. <laughs> okay, first place, black and white recreational goes to Steve Carter. Come on up, you've been up here before, Steve. And he sits up in front now, so he doesn't have to walk as far. <laughs> Congratulations, Steve. Yep. Hey, we made it in time. <laughs> Thank you. Raymond, hold it right there. Recreational color goes to Hunter Lowe's. Hunter wasn't expecting, so that's why he sat in the middle. I, I, I could bake for four hours to get that shot. <laughs> Hunter doesn't need a mic. <laughs> Black and white, first place revenue, Dale Skillenstad. Uh, 
These were, the previous one was taken about a month after this one, and they were all earlier in this year. Um, this was taken north of Encinitas, and this is the third attempt at it, third crack at it, so we had a, oh boy, we had a missing dog, and one, one you know, you know, in my immediate, you know, but one got away. Thank you. First place, Revenue Color. Hugh Harvey. Thanks for attending the 40th anniversary Winter Rail Show. We'll see you next year on March 16th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed coming to Winter Rail 2018. As a younger rail fan, I hope this event continues for years to come. It is nice to see such great people out and about doing the same thing that we all love to do, trains. So without further ado, I think it's time to go. So hi, ball. See you all next time. <laughs> Woof! It's crazy out here. I can't get down an aisleway without being stopped. Hey, Vic! And then I forget where I'm going. This Vic. is the kind of winter rail it's been. Vic. I'm telling you, it's nuts. I told him, seven bucks a piece, two triggers.